welcome to Bionet. This is Shaikh Altaf. In previous video, we will discuss about the photosynthesis in higher plants. So, we will discuss some neat level uh, questions. I will ask some question. We will try to give the answer. Okay. Uh, name the cell that act as kitchen of green plants. Option A. Parenchymatic cells. Option B. Mesophyll cells. Option C. Pit cells. Option D. Epidermis. Answer is mesophyll cells. Next question. The fluid containing proteinous matrix of chloroplast is option A. Thylakoid. Option B. Cytosol. Option C. Cytoplasm. Option D. Stroma. Answer is stroma. Another question. The site of light trapping in chloroplast is option A. Thylakoid membrane. Option B. Stroma. Option C. Plasma fluid. Option D. Stromatal lamella. Answer is thylakoid membrane. So, last question. The yellow color autumn leaf is due to option A. Fucoxanthin. Option B. Lutein. Option C. Lycopin. Option D. Giathin. So, answer is lutein. Okay. So, let it be start today. Today we will discuss about the process of photosynthesis. So, in this process, it will come. Uh, it is complicated oxidation and reduction process. In this process, oxidation of water and reduction of uh, carbon dioxide takes place. It takes place in two phases: photochemical, that is called light reaction, and biosynthetic uh, reaction, that is called dark reaction. So, first of all, we will discuss about the light reaction. What is light reaction? It is light dependent reaction which absorbs the solar energy and convert it into chemical rich energy ATP and NADPH. Two important process carried out that is photolysis of water uh, which releases oxygen to the atmosphere and second phase is the photophosphorylation. So what is the meaning of a photophosphorylation? Before going to photophosphorylation, you have to know about the phosphorylation. The Phosphorylation means the synthesis of ATP molecule by presence of ADP and inorganic phosphates. If that process is uh, takes place by presence of sunlight, then it is called photophosphorylation. Especially the photophosphorylation takes place uh, in chloroplast. So let it be go to the what is uh, photolysis? Photolysis it is nothing but the splitting of uh, water into hydrogen proton oxygen and electron by this uh, by the presence of uh, sunlight chlorophyll and for this they need some minerals like uh, mg uh, magnesium chlorine and calcium photolysis takes place in photosystem to the protons and oxygen form in this process uh, are released within the lumen of uh, thylakoids the whole reaction is uh, summarized given below two molecule of water presence of uh, light chlorophyll it produce four proton two four electron and uh, oxygen this photolysis was first described by van neil in 1931 later on it was uh, demonstrated by robert hill in 1931 so it is also called as hill reactions so let it be discuss about the photophosphorylation so this process was discovered by Arnon et al. in 1954. Photophosphorylation are of two types. Non-cyclic photophosphorylation and cyclic photophosphorylation. First of all, we will discuss the about the non-cyclic photophosphorylation. There are two photosystems occur in light reaction, PS2 and PS1. PS1 start with the range of wavelength of light 6 P680. PS1 start with the range of wavelength of light P700. Here I get the small graphical representation picture. It picture uh, represent that out of the seven colors of light, the plants use only few lights that is start from blue and and with red. So the range start from 400 to 700 nanometers. Below 400, so we call as ultraviolet rays. 
and above 700 we can say infrared rays these two types of radiation is not useful for photosynthesis let it become to the non cyclic photophosphorylation so what is it what it is called non cyclic photophosphorylation why the reason when the light fall on chlorophyll pigment beyond 680 nanometers chlorophyll pigment excited to form chlorophyll plus and electron this electron is not complete the cycle because in this middle and middle two molecule of nadp plus reduced to form two molecule of nadph then who will complete the cycle here the question is the cycle will be completed by another four molecule of electron which is released during photolysis and the photolysis process takes place in photosystem 2 in photosystem 2 the most electron carriers are cytochromes plastoquinones plastocyanin this is a small protein that carry electron with the help of copper so here important point is a copper needed for this pc let me go for again back or uh, back to this uh, cytochrome what is cytochromes cytochromes uh, shortcut we can say that cyt it is a small protein that contains a cofactor that is hemoglobin which consists of uh, iron next plastoquinones this transport the electron over short distance uh, shortcut we can say that is uh, pq from this uh, pc plastoquinin electrons are finally transferred to the reaction center that is ps1 let it be discuss about the jet scheme of photosynthesis very carefully just see that is sketch it is very very important and number of question they will ask from this sketch g scheme of photolysis in a neat the for when the light fall on the chlorophyll pigments the range gradually changes increase 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 when it come to the 680 nanometers at the times this reaction start which reaction that is a photosystem to start and it continually going on when the light beyond this 680 nanometers the chlorophyll molecules excited and break by presence of mn2 plus and after break they release the electrons so four molecule of electrons first accepted by pheo so here the point out that uh, sometimes they'll ask the question the which chemical which protein first uh, the carrier of that uh, photosystem 2 electron is uh, accepted by which that means answer will come pheophysin p h e o suppose uh, this option is not there then you go for the second option the second option is called pq plus to one n sometimes they ask the questions uh, the in ps2 the electron acceptor the first electron acceptor is pq pq means plus to one n then gradually the four molecule of electrons the transfer from plus to one n to cytochrome b 6 and f in between pq and cytochrome b 6 they produce one molecule of atp by the process of phosphorylation so one molecule of atp release in between pq and cytochrome b this is very very important and this atp in synthesis in the photosystem 2 that is non cyclic photophosphorylation afterwards the four molecule of electrons they transfer from b cytochrome b6 and f2 pc so pc next it will move to the photosystem 1 that means the four molecule of electron which is released from photosystem 2 is gradually enter into photosystem 1 and ultimately it will be move into the photosystem 1 and afterwards it will come to throw the iron sulfate and then it come to that nadp here nadp plus two molecule of electrons they waiting for that hydrogen protons to complete reduction of formation of nadph2 so these four molecule of proton hydrogen it comes from photolysis of water so the photolysis of water it takes place in ps2 photo system 2 or non cyclic photophosphorylation this electron will complete the cycle 
the electron which release from this ps2 it should not be complete it will stop here stop where nadph2 here stop the electron which is produced from that photostom 2 then who will complete another electron which release from that photolysis of water that electron is complete so that's why it is called non cyclic photophosphorylation during the non cyclic photophosphorylation they produce one molecule of atp and one molecule of two molecule of nadph2 these two are the end product of non cyclic photophosphorylation at the mean times they release oxygen to the atmosphere so afterwards we will discuss about the photosystem one when the light rays gradually increase 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 up to 700 nanometers if it is cross the 700 nanometers or above the 700 nanometers ultimately what happens second process start that is called ps1 again the chlorophyll new chlorophyll excited and the breakdown to form the chlorophyll plus and the release for molecule of electron so in photosystem one the first electron accepted is iron sulfate com complex so iron sulfate complex it is the first electron acceptor of photosystem one so afterwards it will ultimately it move through the cycle and reach to the cytochrome b and f of non cyclic photophosphorylation so in between iron sulfate complex and cytochrome b they produce one molecule of atp by the process of photophosphorylation so here in ps1 they produce only one molecule of atp only but in ps2 they produce atp and nadph so these two cycles are simultaneously there's a continuously going on and overall we call it a jet scheme of photosynthesis Yes. Now we will discuss the difference between a cyclic and non-cyclic photophosphorylation. So important points they will ask in neat examination. Uh, cycle during cyclic photophosphorylation, in this process, photostom one is involved. But in non-cyclic photophosphorylation, it involved in both PS1 and PS2. So second point, it does not require external source of electron who cyclic photophosphorylation. But in non-cyclic photophosphorylation, it required the external source of electron that is came from that photolysis of water. Third, so the photolysis of water does not occur. Photolysis should not take place here. But in non-cyclic photophosphorylation, it involves in photolysis of water. And uh, next. The end product is only ATP in cyclic photophosphorylation. But in non-cyclic photophosphorylation, the in non-cyclic photophosphorylation, the end product is ATP and NADPH plus H plus. And next, come to the cyclic photophosphorylation. It occurs in stroma, lamella, and unstarked thylakoids. So unstarked thylakoids means we will discuss in chemosynthesis of uh, electron transport systems. So unstarked means it is just nearer to the outer membrane of the thylakoid. That's why it is called unstarked thylakoid. But in non-cyclic photophosphorylation, mostly stocked thylakoid that is called granum. And last point is, it is not affected by the inhibitors DCMU. But in non-cyclic photophosphorylation, it is affected by DCMU. What is the meaning of DCMU? DCMU means dichlorophenol dimethyl urea. It is a herbicide that block the plastocoin binding site of photosystem 2, not in photosystem 1. So finally it stops the flow of electron in between PQ, plastoconin and cytochrome. In next video we will discuss about biotechnology, like, share, subscribe to my channel. If you have any doubt, comment below. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notification of my upcoming videos.